Um, today what I wanted to show is how we can take advantage of Koala inside of Drambo. So let's go ahead and load it up. And what I'm going to do here is load up some samples. That sounds good. Okay. And what we're going to do here is just go ahead and normalize it. And then we're going to auto chop it. And just move these guys around. These are all one shots. So just that to here. All right, cool. So that's how you basically set it up. And what we need to do next is we need to uh, MIDI map it. So let's expand that again. Let's open this in a new window here so we can resize things a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and go into settings. There might be a faster way of doing this. Um, so we're gonna map it to C2 and above. Okay, looks like it's already mapped, so let's get out of this. Cool. Everything is mapped. All right, so what I want to do first is I want to go ahead and slow us down to an eighth. Let's play that. Let's go to quarter notes. Lower the volume there. So what's cool about this is that you can actually use the perform mode. To do all that cool stuff if you want. Or you can use Drambo to do what Drambo is really cool at. So let's add an LFO. Add an analog filter. Map the filter to the LFO. And let's add a ping pong delay. Let's go a little crazy in the LFO. Hmm, I wonder if I can change the pitch of my notes. Let's see. I wonder what this pitch shifter will do. All right, let's copy all of this. Press and hold and swipe to copy. Go to a new track. Let's create an instrument rack and paste all of that in there. And let's go higher. Let's go down to like an eighth. slower on our LFO. Is that a reverb? Let's cut this off a little bit more. Let's 
hold that. That sounds fun. Drop the volume a little bit. Let's go to our main view so we can kind of see how the levels are, are, are working. Okay, let's do that. Let's go back to this and let's add a another LFO really quick. And so that comes slow. And then I'm going to add a pan. So it should be bouncing from ear to ear. And if I wanted to kind of visualize how the um, uh, LFO is actually working, we can go into the utilities view here and add an oscilloscope and then map that to the LFO. So as I increase the speed of the LFO, the oscilloscope will increase. So I want it to be really slow. oscilloscope is moving very, very slow. And then I can control how much of the LFO speed is actually getting pushed through to the, to the pan effect. So it should control how far to the left and how far to the right it actually goes. Now let's go ahead and add some drums. I'm going to go to my favorite, the Playbeat 3. Let's go find something different. 